Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Tuesday, July the 5th. It's the week of the fourth Sunday after Pentecost, and week one in the Psalm Cycle. And please join me. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, give ear to my words, O God, and consider my meditation. Alleluia. Psalms 5 and 6, and please recite them with me. Alleluia, give ear to my words, O God, and consider my meditation. Listen to the voice of my cry, my ruler and my God, for I pray to you. Hear my voice in the morning. I look up and offer you my prayer. For you do not take pleasure in wickedness, and neither shall evil dwell with you. The foolish shall not stand in your sight. You hate all the workers of evil. You shall destroy them that speak lies, and you abhor the bloodthirsty and deceitful. But as for me, I will come into your house in the greatness of your mercy, and in your fear I will worship toward your holy temple. Lead me, O God, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me, for there is no truth in their mouths. Their hearts are absolute wickedness. Their throats are open graves, and they flatter with their tongues. Destroy them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out for their many transgressions, for they have rebelled against you. But let all that put their trust in you rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy. Because you defend them, let them that love your name be joyful in you. For you bless the righteous and surround them with favor like a shield. Alleluia. O God, do not rebuke me in your anger, neither chasten me in your hot displeasure. Have mercy on me, for I am weak, and heal me, for my bones are vexed. My soul is racked with pain, and you, O God, how long? Return and rescue me, and save me for your love's sake. For in death there is no remembrance of you. In the grave, who shall give you thanks? I'm weary with my groaning. All the night long I drench my pillow with tears, and I soak my bed with weeping. My eye is consumed because of grief, and I grow old because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all you evildoers, for the Most High has heard my weeping. The Most High has heard my plea, and God will accept my prayers. Let all my enemies be ashamed and confounded. Let them retreat in sudden shame. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, give ear to my words, O God, and consider my meditation. Alleluia. The Numbers, chapter 35, beginning at verse 1. In the plains of Moab, by the Jordan, opposite Jericho, the Most High spoke to Moses, saying, Command the Israelites to give from the inheritance that they possess, towns for the Levites to live in. You shall also give to the Levites pasture lands surrounding the towns. The towns shall be theirs to live in, and their pasture lands shall be for their cattle, for their livestock, and for all their animals. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, When you cross Jordan into the land of Canaan, then you shall select cities to be cities of refuge for you, so that a slayer who kills a person without intent may flee there. The cities shall be for you a refuge from the avenger, so that the slayer may not die until there is a trial before the congregation. The cities that you designate shall be six cities of refuge for you. You shall designate three cities beyond the Jordan and three cities in the land of Canaan to be the cities of refuge. These six cities shall serve as refuge for the Israelites, for the resident or transient alien among them, so that anyone who kills a person without intent may flee there. If anyone kills another, the murderer shall be put to death on the evidence of witnesses. But no one shall be put to death on the testimony of a single witness. Moreover, you shall accept no ransom for the life of a murderer who is subject to the death penalty. 
a murderer must be put to death. Nor shall you accept ransom for one who has fled to a city of refuge, enabling the fugitive to return to live in the land before the death of the high priest. You shall not pollute the land in which you live, for blood pollutes the land, and no expiation can be made for the land for the blood that is all that is shed in it, except by the blood of the one who shed it. You shall not defile the land in which you live, in which I also dwell, for I, Yahweh, dwell among the Israelites. Here ends the lesson. Now let us pray for the church in the world, for the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and love of Christ to all people. For Michael, our presiding bishop, for Jennifer Ann, our bishop, for Brother Joe, our community servant, and for all of our church leaders, and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. For the poor, for the hungry and the thirsty, and for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. For Joe, our president, for Doug, our governor, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another in all of our lives to Christ our God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Count us not among the foolish, O God. May we fear your name and be joyful in your love and worship in your house. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.